Hello everybody, it's uh, episode 9 of the Everything Career Mode. Season 2 has officially started. Exciting stuff here. So um, we're going to look at our objectives this season and see uh, anything different, anything not. So um, these uh, youth developments, they're exactly the same. I'm probably going to avoid them this time. I'm just going to, I'm going to roll with the main team here. Focus on that. Focus on other things. Uh, brain exposure. This looks easy. I mean, sign one crucial first team player. That's pretty big. That's a big deal. Um, I think I will do that. We have a big budget this season. I haven't shown yet. Um, uh, finishing like, I think seventh or eighth. So that's, that's a big deal too. That's going to be kind of hard. Um, and then reach the round of 16. I mean, we got to the semis last season. I want to try to win it this year. Um, and then the finances reducing in them by 82,000 a week so we they want us to sell players that's basically what they just told us uh, but currently yep this is the squad you know same as this last episode uh showed off nothing crazy nothing new uh but one thing that is new actually is uh all these new players that came back from uh loan so yeah, we do have a lot of players that definitely need to be leaving or going out on loan again i don't know yet um i'm gonna have to go through that um uh, but yeah, I do want to reduce the wages a lot. I want to have some more cap space to uh, get some more players. So yeah, we have a whole lot. So yeah, I got to do that. And then the transfer hub, this is the most important part. So these are the two players that were on our team last season. They played very well. Both of them did. And uh, I've decided I'm going to grab one of them up this season before the, uh, the, the window closes. And I think I've decided on Danjuma, but I haven't. I'm not 100% yet, so I gotta gotta look into it more. I have a lot to do. Uh, definitely a whole, whole lot to do. So uh, I'll be right back and uh, I'll let you guys know what's going on. So Asha Young wanted to lead the squad. Um, so I, I mean, he went to Norwich, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think he went with Wellington. So uh, unfortunately he's leaving. And we have two transfer and loan offers. Um, so we got her mini. Um, I'm not accepting that, no way. Um, and the Welsh, I'm I'm going to 100% just delegate, loan to buy, that's fine. All right, he's completed. He's gonna be uh, now our right mid, just cool. Um, and Welsh is gonna be our first one leaving, going on a loan to buy. I'm hoping they actually buy him. Don't really want him in the club, to be honest. All right, there's a yeah, transfer offer for Andre Gomez. And uh, I am 100% going to negotiate this one. I think that'll be a good uh, transfer for him. All right, so uh, we're selling him for 5.75 million. Hopefully that goes through. And we also have interest in Danjuma. So I either have to decide right here now if I'm gonna get him or let them uh, take him up. So, oh yeah, I'm going for him. Screw it, I'm going for him. I think I want him. I want him on the team, I want him back. All right, so uh, his market value is 27 million. We only have 63 this season, so he will hopefully not take all of our money here. I'm a little worried. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go for 26.50. Try to go a little under. They want Calvert Lewin. I'm not gonna let that happen. Um, I'm gonna try to do that 26.50 again. They want 40 million for him. That's um, that is ludicrous money. Um, oh man, I'm so upset how expensive he is. I'm gonna go for 30 million. That's like the highest I'll go. All right, they're gonna think about it. I right, we'll see. Um, honestly, I don't think it's gonna go through. I think it's going to be uh, rejected. But uh, I'll let you guys know. All right, we're gonna do the European Shield like last year. Uh, hopefully, we won it this time. They won a 39.9, so basically 40 million for him. Um, I'm gonna see if I can negotiate one more time. See if I can try to get a lower number here. I'm gonna try 32.50 okay um they accepted it I, I, did i overpay there like did it was that worth it is it worth it to get this player in for 32 and a half million like he was our top goal scorer last season he did fantastic but like god damn 32 million is a lot like we could improve a way better position i feel like we don't really need to get a new striker i feel like our strikers are pretty good um i don't know i'll think about it for a couple days looking back at the uh danjuma transfer offer i kind of regret not swapping uh, calvert for him 
I think that would have been a really good idea. Um, but I think it's too late. Yeah, it's a little too late for that. So it's either I just bite this 32 million right now, or I um, I just I ignore the transfer and I just don't do it anymore. I'm a very conflicted and I don't know what to do. So yeah, we have uh, we have six strikers right now, not including Dan Huma. So if I did bring him in, like I'm gonna have to drop at least two of these guys, probably maybe even three, but most likely two. This Malpai guy, he was he didn't play a single game for us last season he was on loan the whole time uh, let me look at the uh, pricing of all of them so this guy I panic bought a while ago um, I, I can't I'm not gonna sell him yet he's too early he's been in here not long enough just fine um, but looking at the wages as well like I don't see Malpai nor Calvert being worth my time anymore like Calvert played very well for us i want to keep him but like at the same time like i would rather have dan juma so i think i'm gonna sell these guys just to make back the money i'm gonna lose from dan juma because i'm going to get that dan juma i'm gonna get dan juma back so uh, that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do that for now and i'll let you guys know what clubs they join all right so we uh we signed dan juma for 50k a week with a 50k signing bonus honestly i think we hit a hit a deal on that so i'm i'm excited for him to be back i'm very glad that we got this through. I know that it's an expensive one, but we need him. Like, he, he he was our top goal scorer. He made some probably two of the best goals last season that we've had for any of them, any of our players, other than Dave Quare. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I probably overpaid. Let me see what rating they give me. Okay, they give me an A. I guess I didn't. Uh, let's see how much at best possible, about $30 million. So, yeah, I mean, I didn't do too bad. Uh, yeah. So, we got a transfer off for, uh, to Crystal Palace for Calvert. And I'm gonna negotiate. I think I'll be okay. Move for him. All right. I, uh, I asked for 20 million and they declined it. So uh, I guess that didn't go through. All right. So uh, if you guys didn't watch the last season, I usually sim all of the uh, the European games. I don't care too much uh, if we win or not. Yeah, we won this one. That's great. Dan Juma and Beto getting the goals. So we got a transfer for uh, Nor uh, Nordingham. No, uh, Nor Nordingham Forest uh, for uh, Malpai. I'm gonna definitely negotiate this one as well. All right, uh, we got him to accept the 7.6 million transfer fee, which is cool with me. All right, so I put our new two strikers in that we haven't really played this season and our last season, and uh, basically a whole new setup for this uh, this quick sim. And we lost it. It's fine. Mopai has been sold. It uh, went through. All right, so uh, we just got an offer from Valencia uh, for Calvert Lewin, and I don't know if you guys remember, but Dan Juma, they wanted to trade Calvert Lewin for uh, for. Uh, Dan Juma, so I'm. I really want this trade to go through. It'll be very realistic. So uh, give me one minute. All right. So yeah, they were not budging on that 19 million. So uh, I accepted their 19 million transfer offer. And there it is, Calvert Lewin leaving the club. Sad to see him leave. He played really well for us last season. I think he was our second top goal scorer, and uh, hopefully he does well in uh, the Sp Spanish uh, division. All right, and this is probably going to be our last game for the uh, European club uh, thing. Wow, we lost again. So, uh, unfortunate, but uh, on to the prim. I don't think I'm going to play any games today. We have a whole... Well, I might actually. I might play one game. Uh, we'll see. All right, uh, I didn't... I don't know if it was a good idea for me to do this, but I, I did do this swap deal with uh, McNeil. Um, I'm going pretty crazy with these transfers season two. I think it's just because the realism part of the first season, like it was fun and all, but I want to start getting some things going on for the team. I want to actually win some cups, win some leagues, win a league title, maybe hopefully. Um, but uh, they were offering two million plus Murillo, and uh, this guy's twenty-two years old, seventy-two rated. I think he's really trainable. It seems really good, so I'm gonna go for him. All right, we got him for 35000 a week. Uh, he wanted a five-year deal in sporadic, so that's uh, perfect for me. Hopefully, McNeil would still even go to Nottingham. Yep, and it went through. Mur uh, Murillo is a part of Everton now. Let's go. Uh, Murillo, we're going to focus purely on his defending, so we're going to go for that defending sweeper uh, 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 development plan. And uh, also, while I'm in the squad hub, I'm just looking at the wages right now. It's pretty high for a lot of these players. And this guy, for example, Duke Corey, I know, I know, he's awesome. He scored a power uh, shot really early into our series. Did very well for us overall last season. However, 10 months left to him. He's 31 years old. I'm going to send him on the transfer list. Hopefully, he gets out. 
gives us more cap space. Then I can get a new left mid because I just got rid of McNeil and we lost Harrison. I completely forgot we did. So I absolutely need to get a new left mid this season. And uh, that's currently the goal for uh, the transfer market. All right, so we got a transfer offer from Feyenoord for, uh, for Ducore. So I'm gonna try to get some more money out of them. All right, they're only going for 9.5, which is all right. So I'm gonna accept it. Fulham also offered to uh, take Ducore. I accepted that too. We'll see where he goes. And I just misclicked. I don't know what to do. I'm uh, kind of freaking out now. So Garner might leave to Brighton. I really don't want that to happen and it probably will. So I can't do anything about it now. Uh, there's Ducore leaving to, I'm going to guess Feyenoord. I don't think he's going to go to Fulham. Oh, wow. Never mind. He went to Fulham. My bad. I really hope Garner doesn't leave, but I think he will. Oh my God. I can't believe the misclick. I am so upset with myself. Oh no, I really want, no, this is so tragic. This is so tragic. Oh no. All right, well, I just gotta deal with it now. So uh, I have a, um, I have a lot of, a lot of room to improve this team now since I just lost a lot of our players. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I think our midfield is very dreadful. Like Gomez should not be our, our main, why is it? Yeah, put Onano on. I don't know what's going on there. So yeah, Deli Alley, I I've always been telling you guys, like he's he's my he's my guy. I want to keep him in. So I'm gonna try to keep him in. My left mid is going to be changing soon. Um as for any other positions, I'm gonna just look around, see what I can do. I've I'll show you how much money we got. So we have 77 million to play with, which is a lot. We can make one, we can bring like one really, really good player if we want, or maybe two really good players. Uh I'm leaning towards that one really good player type of vibe. Um, we'll see. Okay. Um, I'm decided I'm going to go for Pulisic. What I said in the first episode of this uh, this series, I wanted to bring him in. And he would be a perfect replacement for our left mid spot. So I'm going for him. All right. Yeah, so, of course, he wants Crucial, which is fine. Or your contract, which is awesome. I love that. Uh, release calls. I'm glad he doesn't want one. And I'm glad he gives us his wages. So he's, he wants less than uh, what he earns now, which is cool. I don't really like uh, gold bonuses, which is uh, just a pet peeve of mine. I'm going to put 75k and then give him 750k. And I think he'll accept that. All right, we got Pulisic, our best player. Uh, just joined the club. Let's go, guys. That's the uh, biggest biggest signing we've had other than Aki, Ake, but this one is bigger. So it's awesome. All right, so we finally have Pulisic. That is awesome news. I'm so glad we got that to go through. Um, oh, not Marilla on the left mid. Whoopsie. Uh, so now I want to, I want to uh, change this development plan to a left mid. I'm hoping it's not bad. All right, yeah. So it's not going to be option. <laughs> 325 weeks. So um, that's pretty ludicrous. Um, I'm gonna look around at different formations, see what we could try this season, try something new with some uh, some wingers. All right, so uh, now I'm gonna do some contract renewals on a lot of players. Um, there's a few people that are just aren't happy with their contracts, plus there's a lot running out. So I'm just gonna go through those real quick. I'll let you guys know any new updates, anything, maybe release clauses. If nothing really happens, I'll just skip to after it's all done. All right, so Dobbin wanted a uh, 3 million release clause. I accepted that. I also put Braithwaite as um, a three-year deal on him. He's a crucial player now, though. Um, Holgate, I'm putting him on the transfer list. And all I got to do now is these four guys, and then I'll be good. All right, so um, I did all the transfers uh, listing I wanted to do. I put Holgate on the transfer list. I put Gomez, Gomez on the transfer list. I did a uh, renew on Keen's contract, same as, what's his name? Come on, come on, I'm blinking, Godfrey. Put Godfrey's contract, and uh, it's kind of about it. All these other guys, I'm just not gonna deal with them right now. I'm not a big deal. Coleman is retiring this year, so I'm not surprised. He's 36. 
Um, but yeah, that's currently what's going on. That's our team. I think it looks pretty good. I also put, man, I completely forgot. I, I just probably messed up the editing there. My bad, guys. Um, putting Polisic on the left wing, even though he's, um, even though this is a 4 one 2 one 2 wide. So I'm just going to try to do the same formation, just make him a wider, uh, wider player. So we'll see how that plays. If he plays a little kooky, um, we'll figure this out. Starting the first game against uh, Middlesbrough, bro, bro, Middlesbrough. God, I cannot talk. All right, uh, I expect to win this game with flying colors. They're not really a great team. I think they probably just got into the Prem this season. Um, so I'm excited to win this one. I think I win. I think I'm going to win this one. Nice save by Pickford already. Kind of scary that they already have a shot like that two minutes into the game. Pulisic. He's here. Ah. Uh, He's there for it. Oh no. It's fine. We got Onana in the back. Hopefully we don't get uh, riddled with injuries like the beginning of last season. That was really bad. Um, really hard to deal with as well. Especially those earlier matches. So, Denjuma. Back to Ali. Denjuma. A little bit of skill from him. Deli Ali. Goes for the goal. First goal of the season, Deli Alley. That's what I love to see. The one guy that I would, out of the whole team, that's the one man that I wanted to get it. Nice job. 1 0 Everton. Nice defending by Ake. Pulsic. Mikolenko. Pulisic on the wing. Beto. Pulisic. Deli Alley on the wing. Cross to Danjuma. He goes for... Oh, he went for a bicycle kick. Almost went in. Ball sick. Ali. Danjuma. Beto. Ball sick. Ah, uh, bad. I'm excited for this season. I think we have some uh, very bright future here ahead of us for this uh, season two. Last season wasn't amazing, I, I uh, do admit, but um, Everton was not in a good spot last season, so it was hard for me to get through it, but uh, we're definitely in a better spot now. I'm excited. sick. he's going for it. Well, that was absolutely terrible. Ali Ali, he's all over this game. Oh, Polosic with the terrible pass. It's not a great start for him. Alright, on to second half. 1 0 Everton. Here we go, Godfrey. Oh, we're in. Denjuma on the run. Denjuma on the run. Oh. Ooh! Oh, Hermeliti, uh, Hermeliti, I think that's what he said. That was a fantastic goal. Oh my God, I love I loved the play there. That was great. Let's look at that one more time. Ooh. God, that was sneaky, bro. That was sneaky. All right, that's 2-0 Everton. I'm really loving this squad now. Like last season, it wasn't as good, I feel like. this. There's way more chemistry. I just like, I like the players more. I'm glad that uh, I got rid of some of them. Oh my god, we're in again, Danjuma. Power shot. Oh, that's so free. 3-0 Everton. Danjuma's in once again. Uh, I ran too far. All right, that's the end of the game. It's a uh, 2-0 to us. That was a great game. Uh, every, or 3-0, actually. My bad. Uh, everyone played really well. All right, so uh, we got a uh, transfer offer for uh, Mason Holgate. Um, to Bournemouth, I'm going to... Uh, 
I'm, I'm going to accept it. I'm not going to deal with any negotiation or anything. I'll take that. And uh, we're going to end the episode here. We'll look at the table real quick and see where everyone's at. So the first game looks like Man United also did really well. Same uh, result as us. Uh, Spurs, Nordingham Forest did really well too. Uh, three goals. I wonder who they went against. Um, actually, let's find out. I'm kind of wondering. Oh, it was Wolves. Okay, that makes sense. And then, uh, so, who lost some games? Any crazy ones? Chelsea, yeah. They didn't do great last season. Arsenal, they did bad in the beginning, and then they um, got a little better. So, yeah, everyone did pretty well that that should be doing well, at least. Uh, 17 million in the budget. We already spent 100 million, so we really don't have any, any money here to spend. Uh, however, we have a very strong squad. Very happy with it. Um, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just excited for the season. Like I, this, is, this feels different. It feels, um, feels like I have more control. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't seen the first season, go check it out. See you guys.